Raise your hand if you've been playing for months or sometimes even years and still can't play through a full song. Let me know if you're overwhelmed by everything you have to do. All you want to do is be able to play a full song and get the approval of your family and friends. You just want it to sound like music. All right, let's solve all of this today. If you open up Perfect and whatever is your favorite site to look for chords, I'm using Ultimate Guitar, you'll see it pretty quickly gets overwhelming. Lots of lines, lots of chords, lots of things to memorize. But again, I want you to raise your hand if you find this true. If I gave you a simple sequence, G, E minor, C, D, and you had it written down in front of you in a little paper. I'm just gonna drop it at the top of the screen so you can see it. Do you think that is difficult to understand? Do you think you could even memorize that sequence? Okay, let's look at the song now. We've got, and I'm looking at my paper, G, E minor, C, and D. G, E minor, C, and D. So with that, we have the first verse. Let's look at the pre-chorus. G, E minor, C, and D. G, E minor, C, and D. And if you look at the second verse and the second pre-chorus, they're exactly the same. They follow that sequence. G, E minor, C, and D. Do you think that's difficult? Do you think you can now learn the chords for half of the song? Let's look at the chorus now. Same chords, different sequence. We've got E minor, C, G, and D. That's the sequence. Four chords again. Let's check out the chorus, see if it works with that sequence. E minor C, G and D, E minor C, G and D, E minor C, G and D, E minor C, G and D again. So raise your hand again. Do you think these two chord sequences are difficult? If you had them written down just like this, just like it's on the screen, could you learn the chords to the song? Okay, but you might be asking yourself, yeah, but then I don't know how to switch through chords very quickly. I can't really change fast. Okay, this is the speed of the song. the speed of the original song. Do you think this sounds worse? I think it actually sounds even better. It's almost half the speed, so you have a lot more time to change through chords. Now, changing from an E minor to a C might look difficult. Let me give you alternatives to these chords. So we're gonna start with a G, and we're gonna move one finger to create an E minor seven. Sounds beautiful with this song. Okay, it's only one finger change. Now to move from that E minor seven to a C, we're gonna use a C at nine, and we're just gonna move these two fingers like this. From here to here. These two fingers are gonna stay the same for G, for E minor, and for C. Then we just got the D to tackle, again moving these two fingers. So all you have to move is these two fingers. Do you find that easier? Do you believe that you can switch through these chords at a slow speed? Okay, so now we have what chords to play and in what order. We know we can slow down the song and we've got easy chords to play it. Your next hurdle might be strumming patterns. Well, the reality is that you don't need any strumming pattern. Listen to this. I'm using those chords. I'm not playing a strumming pattern. I'm only playing down strums, one down strum per beat. Now there's a really cool thing you can do and I call it the eternal strum and is adding one more strum in between each strum. I'm only gonna be playing down strum, but I'm gonna be playing double down strums. about this eternal strum is that you can really slow down the song to give you time to change chords. Do you think you would be able to play a simple strumming pattern like this? All down strums. Do you find that possible? Okay, so we've got what 
chords to play in what sequence, how to play those chords the easy way, the simplest but most effective strumming, and the last thing we need to tackle is when to change chords. So, can there be another pattern? Yes, there is. Let me give you the pattern, okay? For the verse and the pre-chorus, for this sequence over here, we're going to use four strums per chord. Very easy, right? We count to four, change chord. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. On the choruses, we're going to go two beats. So we're going to go one, two, change chord. So it's going to go baby two one two the dog two one two one two all the same through the chorus so we've got verse and the pre-chorus we've got four i'm going to write it down next to my sequence and for the chorus i've got two i'm going to write it down next to my sequence now raise your hand again now do you think you're going to be able to play through this entire song applying this method. If you do, and you want to apply this method to any song you want to play, click on the link below.